Hello fellow space engineers, it's time for another episode. So today I decided to show you all, um, I was watching the last video that I made and I was saying a lot of ums, so I'm going to try and avoid that this video. So I built up uh, the ship that I was doing and I'm going to show it off here. As you can tell, these doors here, this door is open. See, there's a bug that was introduced with this last update that uh, I did uh, again. <laughs> Where the doors open and close, but the one door is always closed, so... Eh, they're aware of it. Um, <laughs> it's hard to do that ump thing, so please bear with me. These windows here, I've been messing around with those. And they might be in backwards, I'm not 100%. Let's go check this out here. Uh, you're going to notice a lot of changes. Let's go over here. Let's go up here. This is cool. This is a way out of the ship. There's also going to be an inside kind of area here. Just to show off, it has the, the internal mechanisms. I moved the beacon back in here. I put in two more reactors, more storage glass uh, I, I really like the glass it's pretty cool uh, I, I, there's no such thing as hatches so I think it's just an entry into the ship right now I don't mind that actually I kind of dig that because this is kind of a maintenance ship it's uh, a ship that will be used to fly around there's the back end of it there's even an underside I'll show you all that too it's pretty exciting. So this glass here, yeah, no, I think that's all right. I might pick the inverted glass. I don't know if I like this glass like this. Yeah, might have it the other way. Cause see, this is the proper way where it's kind of reflective. And this glass you can see right in, and then it's reflective on the other side. So I'm going to actually fix that here. Uh, this is how we fix stuff. It's pretty easy. You can dismantle everything. It's kind of nice that way. And then let's switch this window out here. So I think window 1x1 one one flat inverted then. So let's see here. Three. Now there is a bug with the game too where if you enter your the cockpit and then come back. Ah, uh, here we go. That looks better then it's going to have your last selected item um, as if you're in the building mode uh, again there we go that looks a lot better so look at that that looks nice so i will fix these two on my own uh, let's sh show you the rest of the ship and i keep saying um and i, I can't stop it so yeah that's th the ship i'll be adding glass in there and stuff too Here's the underbelly of the ship, which is kind of cool. I've added two more landing gears, and I'm building a spotlight here, because what the plan is is to use this as, as a mining ship. Uh, since there's a gravity generator now inside of it, uh, you can f basically fly, well, not fly, but you can basically have this hovering over an area, and it's going to to allow you to mine there by hand until there's a ship. Now, I've decided I'm going to put a landing pad here for the the mining ship I'm going to build, and it's going to dock right on top here. So the ship is going to have its landing gears kind of in the corners here. One here, maybe one, oh, maybe three landing gears. Yeah, maybe three. Now there's this beacon I've been building. I put a station here. Um, it's not powered yet. It's going to be powered by s solar cells because the only thing that's going to be there is going to be a beacon and maybe a light. <laughs> uh, I might do a big bank of them. I'm not sure. I do have those ships over there that have the uh, uh, these solar sails here have the solar panels on them. So I'll dismantle that and move it over here. This ship is very convenient because I'll be able to move this spaceship around. And yeah, so yeah, so nothing really 
much has changed other than me working on this ship. I've been going around dismantling f from all these other sh ships here in the shipyard. Uh, let's go check this out here. Let's see if there's anything in here. I think this one is fully dysfunctional now because, yeah, because it's all done everything. And I think this one here now, let's see if we can hear it still. Yeah, I can still hear it working, so let's see what's left. Um, oh, okay, there's actually not much left. Once this goes, then that will be it. Um, yeah, this will be interesting. I'm still doing the ump, but that's okay. I'm aware of it, and I'm trying to stop it. Yeah, let's take this all with us. Cool, so this is almost done. I'm excited for this. Uh, let's heal up here. Now I'll be able to dismantle this one. There's still a lot of ships here. There's a new update too with the grinder. There's a, like a ship grinder now you can build. So I could make another sh large ship that's like a platform to grind other ships. So maybe that's what I might end up doing with these spaceships. I'm not 100% sure because these ships are large and I'd have to build a large bank of conveyors it would take me hours or literally days to build that at this rate. So I'm not sure. I might just continue doing it by hand. I've been tearing apart this red ship here by hand, as you can tell. Already up here, the roof is kind of gone. I've been attacking the, the thrusters. I took all the gears, the landing gears off of them. So there's a lot of metal that's you know, on this ship. I haven't touched the reactors. There's a lot of reactor components. Um, I'll show you that here. I, I keep going on, but yeah. <laughs> oh well, I'm no pro at this. So let's see. Uh, oh, okay, I think because it's broken. Yeah, no, I can't look in it because it's broken. Cool. See, here's that, that bug that I talk about. See, you're in the building mode, but I have my grinder on, so the to stop that you just turn your building mode again because I was in the cockpit if you notice and then if you, if you if you empty your hands and then now you can pick your item seat now it's gone now it's all back to normal so it's it's annoying but it's fixable see there's still lots of reactor components that I can't extract there's 1899 so I will extract from that when I need to build a reactor I'll bring the ship over here uh, let's rename this as uh, ship graveyard because I think that's what this will be I have a couple ships we need to kind of move over here so let's go and do that too I'm just going to rename this a beacon here let's see K okay. here we go it's already there let's go ship junkyard there we go, I like that ship junkyard. Because <laughs> this is what this is. This is space junk, essentially. Okay. There's gravity generators. And see, these even have lots of landing pads. Oh, is it ore detector or spotlight? See, I was in cockpit again. So to stop that, we pick three, zero, now grinder. Okay. I need this. Let's get this. I'm watching my weight. The weight. Oh, it's 400. Okay. So let's. Now oh, it's welded on. Haha. <laughs> I was wondering if the, if these had lights, and they do. Perfect. Yes. Look at that beauty. I think we can build another one down here. And turn them on when we need them. Uh, keep them off when we don't. I have one on the front too. Now, I'll show you the front, what I did with the front. I didn't really explain why I moved the beacon. Oh yeah, that light's gonna be on. That's okay. It'll, get, it'll, it'll show us. <laughs> I, li I like that a lot, actually. Now, I'm kind of thinking putting spotlights in the corners here. Two more spotlights. So one there, and then one kind of there, and the other there. Or maybe over here, maybe. Mm. But on the front here, I got an ore detector. 
So I moved the beacon that was up higher, and I put an ore detector here. And this is another spotlight. I changed the beacon with a spotlight because I found that that will be useful. Um, for thrusters on the bottom, I have a set of three. On each side, I have one, two. I have two on this side. Um, it's doubled up for the front, so there'll be four facing front, two on the side, and then for going up, I think there's four going up. So uh, um, maneuvering the ship isn't too bad. It works like a charm, and let's do that because I need to move some other ships back over here to the junkyard before Lushable gets angry with me. <laughs> so I find I actually have the gyroscopes turned down to 75%. I find that that gives me enough turning maneuverability. And let's boogie. I got three small reactors on here. I could have put one big reactor, but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So I find this ship works beautiful. It has the one big thruster in the back, so that kind of helps a lot. Slowing down, you just got to kind of time it a little bit better because it takes its time, but it does the trick. There's no overload of power, so that's with the reactor running and everything. So, yeah, let's get this closer here. I think this is a pretty cool ship <laughs> overall from the first time we are working on this. So that's kind of, oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So there's some space junk here I brought, and I didn't mean to. Um, it might be permanent. I'll have to check it out here. So I didn't even check how many days. <clears throat> Two days of fuel. Okay, so that's with even... If you, we'll go in here, and I'll show you what's processing. We're making a bulletproof glass right now. So what's happening is... <laughs> I went on a mining spree, the silicone is directly going into, or is being refined, and it, it's immediately being scooped up by the assembler, which is then making my bulletproof glass, which then we take, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, see it's in that build, uh, where are we, oh this is what I want, right here. And see, I need to load that up with bulletproof glass, girders, and here's a way out. Yeah, I like that way out actually, that's pretty convenient. Oh, wrong way. I don't know if there's anything left inside this ship, so we're going to check it out. I took the door out because I got stuck on it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, okay, I figured I took it. We need to move this ship back. So, how do we get to reactor? Well, there's something really cool here. I don't know if I did this on purpose, but okay, th this set is to my boxes that go behind me, so that will have my like my weapons, um, my tools, and then it'll have even some uranium here. So let's just take enough to transport. There we go. Look at that. Look how nice that is. And how are, are we going to get back? Well, that's why we got our spacesuit. <laughs> There's some people out there that play this game that don't like that mechanic. Uh, I figure if you can play the game without inertial dampeners, why not? It, it is space after all. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to put it in, didn't I? And so, because it's space, we should be able to use our suits if they're good enough to move us around now they would have to change that mechanic whereas you get further away from your ship then maybe the suit doesn't work too well i could see that happening um, yeah but i don't know i i like the idea that i don't need my ship you still need your ship to to have as a base to store your stuff to be able to build construction projects so it's not like your ship is useless. And then if there's like multiplayer combat of, of any kind, again, that's more 
of the same. So here we're gonna take the ship back. And yeah, add it to the piles of junk we got building here. So yeah, I really enjoy this game. This game is like Minecraft in space, and it has a little bit of of some cool mechanics. Yeah. So yeah. So let's see here. We can move this spaceship over here. I'll just talk out loud so that way then kind of like a commentary. Uh, keeps you entertained. And basically we will turn inertial dampeners on and we'll bring the ship kind of up 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 up. Um, yeah, we'll probably so there's the beacon up there. Maybe we'll go up here. There's going to be a need communication. So maybe we'll kind of... I'm just kind of thinking where to put this ship, right? Because it is pretty crappy. Let's see here. I think I can get it in here. There we go. That's a pretty good spot. Not too close. Uh, let's go back in this way back in this way okay right here here we go turn that off come out so we're going to dismantle this spaceship <laughs> oh yeah that's that one uh, the other one might be I'm going to have to repair its, its cockpit so dampeners off let's go back see this is cool like why can't you do this you know, it's based on mass. It's based on your thrusters. You know, the the astronauts uh, you know, today on the the silly NASA space program that's there. You know, they have jetpacks that are good enough to keep them on their spacewalks. So, you know, why why can't you know, these ones be good, if not better, since this is uh, spacecraft technology? So, yeah, ooh. Okay, okay, I might be able to get away with this ship. Sweet. Because, okay, so let's see if we can get this going. Uh, let's split this in two, actually. Put 1.0 here. So, what I'm going to do is fly this spaceship to back to the junkyard, add it to those plethora amount of ships. Oh yeah, see, it's doing that thing every time I go in a cockpit. It's so annoying, but it's so fixable. <laughs> I wonder why it does that. I wonder what flag is being turned on. It was working fine before, but the developers decide to change something. So that's okay. Alpha is alpha. Reactor's on. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, nice. Let's do this. So where's chunk here there we go okay oh yeah not too bad not too bad at all let's get it there yay so this is turn out quite nicely i hope you are all enjoying this series i'm no pro at doing this stuff but i find it's easier to play this game and to to show show like what I'm doing um, as I record it I just find it gives a purpose to to play this game I was playing it before on my own and I don't know I enjoyed it but yeah I'm just trying to line this up I enjoyed it but it was like well I'd rather be making videos is what I was thinking and the reason I say that is because, you know, this is a digital game. So, you know, once all said and done, if anything was to happen, say because it's alpha and they wipe everything for whatever reason, then I would just want to make sure that I have what I've done recorded. So that way then there's at least something to show for, for what I've done, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's kind of silly, but on the same note, I think it it kind of 
gives purpose to this all of this so i'm just there we go i think this is a good spot yeah this would be a good spot so turn off cockpit uh three for the item zero okay perfect let's grab our fuel so i've removed the space junk from lush blackos area there uh, he has a little mining operation that he's been doing I now I th I'm gonna try I've tried to play this game like I have the server running and I have it open to friends on Steam uh, with two slots so my slot and of course uh, my brother so I'm gonna try with me being online if he can connect uh, before I had to put it to public and then he could connect in so uh, to bypass our routers and all that other fun stuff uh, there's no dedicated server option that I am aware of yet. So, but I will. This is definitely something that could be a dedicated server since it could be running. And I guess the thing is, is just you need enough fuel, I, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, let's fly to our ship here. Where are we? Uh, business shipments. No, let's go back to our ship. Uh, see the inertial dampers off, and off we go back. So this is typical life for me, <laughs> flying back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. I wonder how much fuel is in Lush Little Echo's base. Let's go check it out. Let's see what we've got here. He's using this mining barge, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure. Mining carriage. Or... Uh, I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like it, it got damaged. Huh. What, did something bump into this? I know I didn't. <laughs> That's okay, let's fix this. That's strange. Weird. See, this is what's weird about this game. Is there's, there's stuff moving in space all the time. Unless something happened here. But, but this ship might have... But I thought I avoided that. It looks like this bumped into... Huh. Weird. Here, we'll fix Lush Echo stuff. I'm not sure why it's all, all broken. Weird. It's like it ran into something. Yeah. Weird. Huh. That's yeah, a little bit better. How about right here? Let's fix this for him. Now I turned off the music in the game because I think I'm gonna put background music into it. So hopefully that's okay. Uh, let's fix this. This looks all bent out of shape. There we go. That's a little bit better. Weird. So I wonder what hit this. What blew up here? <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty damaged. How about this? Is this damaged? No. No. This is all damaged here too. So I wonder what ran into this. Wow. I know I didn't run into it. Ugh. There we go. That's fixed. Okay. So anyways, we're going to see what, how much fuel is left. Unless he's taken it apart. But, oh well. I think this ship ran into it by accident. See, the doors are broken in this. Okay, so. Looks like that's not on. Oh, this is not. See, it's not working. So this got damaged even. I wonder why. Crazy. So. What the heck happened? For it to be so screwed up. Weird. Uh, this, these doors still get hung up on them. There we go. You have to be certain angle. Uh, uh, 231 days, so lots of fuel. One years. <laughs> Weird. And this ship's even on too. So I'm going to see how much fuel is in this ship. Let's move this ship too. 
Oh, here's lots of fuel as well. Okay, let's get it over here. Let's get it away from this ship. There we go. Not sure why that's doing that, but... Okay, yeah, and that's it. This is it. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Just kind of showing you around what's happening. Showed you what the ship looked like. Where's my ship? Way over there, which is so freaking cool. And what I'll do is, if I get footage of some mining, I will record that. And I'll show that in the next episode. Or next episode, yeah. So, all of you space engineers out there, you have a great day. And uh, keep on building. <laughs>